Have you ever desired a way to help teach your adolescent children or grandchildren how to stand up to peer pressure like Daniel and Esther did in the Bible? What if there was a way to tell a story about why the Babylonian political elite conspired to have Daniel thrown into the lion's den? You know, sort of like the way Grandpa tells the story of Princess Buttercup and her true love, Wesley, in the movie The Princess Bride. We know of Daniel in the Bible. The Babylonians wanted to change his name so he'd be like them. But we know him as Daniel, not Belteshazzar. Hananiah, Mishael, and Azazah were Daniel's Jewish friends. But we know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel uh, remained distinct from a pagan culture. His friends blended in. We raise our young people in our churches. But then we send them out into the world which seeks to absorb them and rob them of their distinctiveness just as the Babylonians did to the Jews centuries ago. And how did the prophets of Old Testament times stand for God in a pagan world? How did God's people keep their faith as they were taken into captivity amidst an immoral culture, where infant sacrifice and temple prostitution were common pagan religious practices? Daniel warned against trusting in the plans of men, stating, The Most High God is ruler over the realm of mankind, that he sets it over whomever he wishes. Daniel chastised Belshazzar, uh, the king of Babylon, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, saying, You have not humbled your heart, even though you knew all this, but you have exalted yourself against the Lord of heaven. In a day and age when the culture rejects moral truth and the concept that God calls us to live in right relationship with others, in a day when it seems as though the culture seeks to destroy the concept of personal responsibility, we need people who will take a stand, as Daniel and Esther did, to honor God's laws and apply Jesus' words from Luke 12, 48, which read, From everyone who has been given much, much will be required, and to whom they entrusted much of him they will ask all the more. Hi, my name is David Lance. This year in 2021, I believe God is calling me to do something I'd never thought of before. Have you ever seen the movie The Princess Bride? A grandfather, played by Peter Falk, reads a story to his sick grandson. The characters come alive as Grandpa reads the book. Building on this concept, I'm going to read a story I call The Chronicles of Belteshazzar. It's designed for kids roughly uh, in grades 4th through ninth grade, about 9 to 15 years of age. I'll read one chapter at a time, and I'll provide some commentary, and also pose a question for reflection in each episode. I'll post it on my podcast, Discovering Truth at the Movies. Eventually, I hope to publish it as a book, and when I do, I'll let you know. But for now, if you'd like to expose your kids or grandkids to a real-life grandfather as he reads the Chronicles of Belteshazzar, consider signing up with your email address. And when you do, I'll send you a link to where you can find all the episodes I've recorded thus far, as well as a draft of the latest chapter I'm working on. I'll also provide you with my free monthly newsletter, Conversations with the Culture. Together, we can work toward building a legacy that will help our kids and grandkids grow up to become the Daniels and Esthers that our culture so desperately needs in our modern era.